paper or plastic, you may not get to choose. Good evening, I'm Robin Nance. At a public hearing tonight, some Washington state lawmakers were pushing to ban plastic grocery bags and even ban the production of petroleum-based water bottles. KXLY Force Janet O is live at Yokes in North Spokane. And Janet, it seems like the bill would get a lot of support with all the talk of protecting the environment and reducing global warming. Well, yeah, Robin, you know, Yokes here has already made the switch to using these biodegradable bags, and cities like San Francisco, countries like France and China have also jumped on board to move away from using regular plastic bags. Environmentalists say they're harmful and waste resources. The proposed bill is receiving a lot of positive attention, but some larger grocery chains aren't buying it. They say they offer paper bags and sometimes reusable bags for a small fee. House Bill 2424 would fine grocery stores $500 if they don't use bags that are made from recyclable paper or biodegradable plastic. The Sierra Club estimates 100 billion plastic bags are thrown at every year and only about 5% of those are recycled. We're told most local recycling plants don't even deal with plastic bags because of lack of space and proper equipment to dispose of them. Jim Schrock with Earthworks Recycling is one of them. No, no, like, We've got a commu computer monitor here that's putting out a little smoke, and uh, that doesn't sm it doesn't smell too safe. So, I can't imagine burning thousands and thousands of plastic uh, bags a day. Well, anything we do to help the planet, I'm all for it. We're running out of space where we can put our garbage, and this is part garbage that's not going to dissolve. Supporters of the bill want to take it a step further and see retailers make the switch to biodegradable bags as well. And if you have some of those plastic bags sitting at your home, we have a link set up on our website, kxy.com, of where you can dispose of your dry, clean plastic bags. Reporting live, Janet O, KXLY4.